for these Panthers, there was a question going into game three, would Sasha Barkov play? Not only did he play, but he was the best version of Sasha Barkov, wasn't he each? He was magnificent. I mean, uh, he was just making plays in all three zones, as he always does. He ended up scoring a, an important goal in the second period. He made a great play to crack the ice on this one late in the first period when he kind of was able to kind of T take on Bouchard, come up with the puck. He hits go Forsling. Forsling then gets it there. Great job by uh, Sam Reinhardt. But he just does everything. All kinds of face-off wins. And I noticed, again, calling the game for NHL International with Kevin Weeks, I kept saying, like, deep in the defensive zone, I kept repeating, Barkov comes away with it. So that's what he does. He's just a factor everywhere. I mean, that that first goal where he passed the Gustav yeah. Forsling, that all starts in the D zone. Yep. He makes a great play at the blue line. He gets a stick on it, stays tight to Evan Bouchard, doesn't allow him any space, makes him feel uncomfortable, then is able to use, read it, use right? his body, yeah. Yeah. use his body, buy time, gets it to Gustav Forsling, yeah. and then there's a little bit of a breakdown. Because we showed it was best on best four on four there. Yeah. And they're best one because they're a little bit more responsibility-minded defensively. Mm -hmm. And then obviously Sash is just, he's so strong on the puck. That, that shot, that goal... Goal scorer's goal, uh, and he was physical last night. Yeah. Too. That's the thing I noticed. He was hitting, he was getting on the four check. A bunch of times he was first on the puck, and it's just a testament. I mean, he's captain's captain, and, and he's been everything for this team. And I mean, I don't think any of us thought that he wasn't playing that game. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, but yeah, he just had a just a ultimate ultimate game performance, whatever you want to call it, for a captain. He had that, and I love when he scored. That's probably the most emotion we've seen out of him in a while, in a while. 21 points in 20 games, going yeah. a point a night as the captain and has the chance to be the first Finnish captain to hoist the Stanley Cup. While we're on the topic of firsts and history, Sergei Bobrovsky, in his mid-30s, two Vesnas, people were talking before the series about his chance to perhaps bolster his Hall of Fame candidacy. What has he done? Look at those numbers. J.D., wow. I mean, he's... He's my Conn Smythe winner. I yeah. mean, listen, the saves he's made in this series alone is absolutely incredible. Not, not to mention the prior series. I mean, last night at Ryan McLeod, that that that. I mean, it's four four momentum's with Edmonton. Yep. They probably win that game. He makes a huge save at a timely moment, and he's just so like we're we're sitting here during the game. Being like, How did he get over there? Yeah, so calm. It's not like he's making these crazy acrobatic saves, other than the McLeod one. He's like across east to west and making these saves in the chest. And it's like against this Edmonton Oilers team. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, exactly right, folks. Exactly right. What what they said. Yeah, They're Amazing. mad. They got the steam coming out. You're the yeah. best. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so it, it's just his calmness. And, and you have some great little things you're talking about, even on his breakouts. Yeah, I mean, he does so many things well. And he reads the game so well. But the thing that I notice, again, when you're calling the game and you're calling each and every play of the game – repeatedly he handles the puck so well all these dumpings the Edmonton Oilers will rim the puck in dump the puck in and he just casually comes out there and like he manages it like very effortlessly I was you know I was kind of taking it how good he is at playing the puck but that's something that this guy is a hard worker he works on it and he's gotten better and better I talked to Weeksy about it and, and, you know, he said the same thing when he came into the league, maybe not as good, but now he reads it. He's comfortable back there. He kills every play. And, you know, the Edmonton Oilers, they're feeding into this. I mean, it's horrible dumps. I just watched I mean, everyone. They're first time it, right? I, first like, one I saw it. you get, got to keep it away from them. That's what I, exactly right. Like I always say, it's like we've talked about it, Tony, right? Play with purpose. Yep. Right? Have a plan. It's not an accident that pucks are going in to – around Stuart Skinner that are just out of his reach or a little bit near the trapezoid that he's got because they know he's not a great puck handler. So they have a plan. What is the plan for the Edmonton Oilers? Bobrovsky is eating them alive on these dump ins. So, J.D., you're a defenseman. You know it's for a defenseman. Gets the puck. We're out of the helps you get out of the zone. But if you're the Oilers, chip it to the corner. Yeah. Keep it away from them or fire it right at them once in a while and, and look for a carom. Exactly. But, you know, you practice that with goalies. You do these. It's it's really annoying, but it, it works out. You just do these little drills before practice yep. where you rim it to the goalie. Yep. You go to your rehearsed spots. You make a nice play. And he knows that his backhand safety. Anytime it's strong side, you're going to the backhand. You're moving it right to your D-man who should be ready. 
And obviously there's a lot of communication. You got to give props to the D. They're talking to him. They're yelling, Bob, Bob, Bob. Let him know he's open. But they're getting back to spots quick. But also the choice of dumps. Edmonton likes to get on the rush. They're not really a dump four yep. check heavy team. And right now, the way they're playing in the neutral zone, Florida, where they played, they forced people to dump. Yep. And the dump selection's been bad. It, yeah. You can't go right to him every time. He's going to make those plays. And you're making it hard on yourself. So they need better dumps. Yep. But it's just a credit to that team because it's hard to have clean breakouts. I had Evgeny Novakov was first goal I had. Mm -hmm. He was incredible. He can make the breakout for you up the middle to the winger. <laughs> what a weapon. Oh, it's it just yeah. changes everything for a four check. And as a demon, you're so, you're so much more relaxed going back for it because you know that he's going to save your bacon a lot yep. of times. and You don't have to go get the puck and break everything out. So it allows them a little bit more rest, reprieve, and, and lets them use their eyes to talk to Bob to tell him where they want him to go with the puck. So it's just, I mean... Again, they're firing on all cylinders, him, him included. Yeah, that's why I say, for me, this is a masterful performance of goaltending by Sergei Bobrovsky because it's in all elements of the game, including coming out and handling puck.